is a new book by Rafael Milach called Seven Rooms. Uh, it will require a little bit of uh, improvisation to show it, but you'll see why. I put this book on my best of list last year. It just came out simply because I think it's uh, quite wonderful. So it starts off just like a regular photo book with uh, these essays. It's a book about Russia. I'm just going to skip the essays. You see these are, well, I don't know whether you want to call them regular essays, sort of narrations, uh, yeah, narrations maybe, or you, you read this and you're almost listening to somebody just telling you a story. And then it says photos by Rafa Milach sideways, and the whole thing works like this. Okay, so it's going to be a little iffy to show. So this is what this looks like. Plant is a little better how to show this here. These are all photographs from Russia. And there's different sections. I have to show you the top now. I don't know whether you can read this. There's a name written, Gala. And this is where a new section starts. And then there's a quote at the bottom. It says, I like Russia because it's unpredictable. You never know what's going to happen when you wake up in the morning. And this is an Yekaterinburg. And then you get to see. Try to work with the reflection here and the unusual format. You get to see these photographs that center around, crudely around this, roughly around this, I shouldn't say crudely, that's wrong, uh, roughly around this one person, because these photo photos are anything but crude. Again, on the top there's some text. This um, might take a little time to getting used to, but it makes good use of the the format of the book and the format of the the images. See this? Again, a lot of these pictures have additional text, um, which is a narration of these people's lives, or some of the things that were are happening, so you get an idea of what you're actually dealing with. So here's Elena. And it said, I had a dream about Putin, and it was a bright, warm feeling. This is in Moscow. This has, along with it, <coughs> in this case, uh, some horoscope predictions by somebody for for Lena. Some commentary by Lena on whether she's voting and all this kind of stuff. It's a very, very, very good book. I like the photography. I like how it's put together. I like the way it uses text. There might be. Uh, in the future, maybe even an article about this new kind of... I don't know whether it's so new, but I want to almost call it a, a new documentary movement. Um, you can maybe think of uh, Rob Hornstra and Arnold van Bruchen as part of that too. Making these very smart books about uh, people in... Uh, different places. So here is, um, I wish I could read that, I think it says Stas. What I like best about Russia is myself. This is in Krasnoyarsk. Of course it's slightly unfair just to read the first quote um, of all these people. There's much more. But then again there is a reason of course why um, this is Lera Stas's wife. There's a reason why I'm assuming 
that first quote was taken as the first quote, so we might as well uh, take the ball and run with it. living in Krasnoyarsk also. Russia, of course, is a very complex country. Um, I have the feeling photography from Russia has been fo focusing maybe a little bit too much on a drinking and uh, state of everything being run down supposedly or on all the rich people having a really good time. What I like about this book is that it s stays away from these extremes and tries to look at what I don't want to say the real Russia might be but you know what life of just more ordinary people might be like. If, uh, sure there's there might be some photographers from Russia watching this and I'm sure there's a lot of work about Russia that is very different from the more sensationalist simplified images that we get to see and that work deserves to be seen. Here's Vasha from Yekaterinburg. Oh no, it's not Vasha, it's Vasya. Alright, well, <coughs> whoever had the, whoever handwriting was used to write the names, that handwriting is as bad as mine. So Vasya is uh, living with his family, with his wife, even though I think he admits that he actually is gay. He's working as a drag queen. And lastly is uh, Sasha and Nastya. I want to say that says Nastya. So you see the photographs, a lot of the photographs are very beautiful and <coughs> very caring. And the stories are quite moving. It is Nastya. It's one of those books that you can just spend time with and you'll uh, get to know the people a little bit, you get to know a little bit about the country. That's why I put it on my best of 2011 list. Also I really like the format, I think the small size, the way it's presented. I mean I know a lot of people will be griping about the uh, the format. If you look at it this way, <coughs> well, <you know. coughs> excuse me. I think that's the last picture in the book. It certainly is. So this is uh, Seven Rooms, brand new by Rafael Milach. <coughs>